Hello computer knots. my name is Andy, this is Kerbal Space Program, and today I'm going to show you some mods that will let you create entire new solar systems. You'll be able to do uh, combined planet packs and wrap them around these stars that will actually give off light uh, when you orbit them, <clears throat> and you can actually travel to them, and I'll show you a, uh, a mod that I use to actually travel, and to one of these stars and put some probes around some of these moons and planets. Look at this. This is so cool. This is from the original Crags Planet Factory Creators Edition mod. Uh, this is called the Centaur Pack. Here, well, let's go to that. There we go. Here's Centaur with uh, a bunch of its moons, and we are actually on Pock here, which is orbiting Erin. Which, uh, there it is. Let's switch to this satellite here. And the, the, this, the Craig's Planet Factory mod actually tells you that Centaur is not editable, but don't worry, it, it is editable. And uh, I'll show you how to do that, get these planets and these moons around the new stars that come with the Star Systems mod. The links will be in the description for everything, too. Don't worry about that stuff. So. Just enjoy some of these cool, weird places that people have created. So this is Aaron. I think it actually has great uh, temperature and uh, oxygen for the Kerbals to live on. So that's good. It's a home away from home, maybe. All right, so let's check out uh, the whole thing here. So here's one star Dolus that comes with the star systems mod and then I've put a whole bunch of planets around Dolus. So now some of these like Ascension and then if you zoom in on Dolus here, yeah, there's a Blate. Those will come with the planet uh, with the planet factory mod, so you don't have to worry about that. Centaur also uh, and all that stuff comes with it too. What this mod does is it puts a black hole in the center of the Kerbal universe, I guess you would call this now, or galaxy, or mini galaxy, micro galaxy, nano galaxy, very small, three star system. But anyways, so it moves the Kerbal system to an orbit around this, so it basically just renames Kerbal into the black hole and then creates a new star and moves all the planets to this new star, and then adds Corbo and Dolus at about 0.4 light years and 0.2 light years away. And so here's Corbo. So there's a little flicker, but again, this mod's in development, so don't worry about that stuff. I've added some more planets around here, so Watt, Jabin, these are all created by people, and I'll, clear, I'll include all the links for the planet downloads and stuff like that, too. Kaiser, basically, I think this is my favorite little planet pack here. This one's really cool with the rings. And I've actually moved around some of Kaiser's planets uh, from its original orbits. So like, Kunar is a part of Kaiser, but I've moved it uh, to orbit uh, Corbo itself. And so is, uh, let's see here, there it is. Wait, no. CZ. CZF? Where are you? Oh, you're in the other one. Yeah, and so there, and there's another moon of Kaiser that I've even moved to, yeah, there it is, to Dolus. Uh, there we go. And this is where I've got my interplanetary ship here, and I've, I'll include the mod for this uh, ship because it has a re regenerating nuclear engine, I guess you would call it, that uh, will allow you to travel anywhere. Uh, in, in all of these star systems. It, it might take a while, but there's time warp, so it's really not that bad. Yeah, so here's my interstellar ship, and there's a bunch of places for probes and stuff that I've dropped out. Yeah, you can see some remaining, things like that. And this is actually CZF-30. This is a moon of Kaiser that I've moved, not out of Kaiser's orbit, but actually out of this system entirely and into Dolus. So you'll be able to do this, mix and match, do whatever you want, and I'll show you that right at the end, okay? So now let's jump to a new save, so I'll show you how to get to one of the star systems. Cool? See you then.
Okay, so I'm on the launch pad here with a little interstellar craft I made from the Icarus mod. Okay, so a few things. First, let's launch this thing. Let's try and go to another star system. Okay, so a few things. First, when you load the star systems mod and the planet factory mod, something happens where the first ship of your load, when you launch it, it blows up and then you have to revert back to vehicle assembly building and launch it again and it launches normally. I don't know what it is, everything's in development, so don't worry about it. It's totally worth the uh, price of admission, okay. So I'll see you guys when we are uh, in orbit, cool. Alright, here we are burning for a 100 kilometer circular orbit here, 102, 103. As you can see, really ton of fuel, insane thrust, and there we go. Alright, so we are in orbit, and all we have to do now is break free of Kerbin's orbit here, of Kerbin's gravity. All right, here we go, ready to burn. And there we go. We're now in interplanetary, or our orbit will now be in interplanetary space. Okay, so now we can see uh, Kerbal's orbit versus Dolus and Corbal. Okay, so we've been to Dolus and Cor. We've been to Dolus, but we haven't been to Corbal yet. There we go. Okay, so there's our Corbal periapsis. It's gonna take. 5,000 meters of delta V somehow. And we'll find the node and go to it. So, okay, so I'll see you in a year almost. 249. Okay, see you then. Alright, here we go. Gonna do our interstellar burn. Alright, coming close. There we go. 47 Kerbal years. We will get to Corvo. All right. Let's fast forward time here. All right, so here we are. We have entered Corvo's sphere of influence. All we have to do is uh, let's focus view on it. There we go. Six years we'll be able to make a node that will secure us in an orbit, well, in Corvo's sphere of influence for good. Alright, so let's move on and I'll show you how to get these all planets and things like that, all them, all the planet packs and stuff like that, I'll show you how to get those config, edited, and around the new stars, alright? See you in the uh, editing room. Okay, so here we are in my KSP folder, I'm going to show you what to do with the Planet Factory uh, packs that you download and how to edit them into your desired locations and things like that. Okay, so you get the Star Systems mod and the Planet Factory mod. You go to Plugin Data, Planet Factory, and then here's all the planets and the planet packs that I have uh, in my save. So what you want to do is, uh, let's take a Blate for example here. Okay, so we're in a Blades config file, it's configuration file, uh, and the only thing you really want to touch is the orbit section of the, uh, of the planet or the moon. Uh, I don't mess really with the inclination because a lot of times uh, the planet pack creators will have their systems at an, in an interesting inclination and uh, eccentricity so that the rings look cool all the time uh, or, or different little things like that so the only thing I really mess with is the reference body and then so that it changes to uh, one of the other stars and then the semi-major axis and then how far or what orbit it really is going to have when it orbits that star and this is a lot of sort of with the semi-major axis, a lot of back and forth and determining what you think looks cool, what doesn't, whatever you really want, okay? So here's how to just add it one planet uh, to, a, to a new star for you. Uh, now I'll show you how to do whole systems. Back in the Planet Factory folder, uh, 
we'll go to Kaiser and uh, you see how these will have system dot system you know fearless fearless dot system and all of these things urania urania dot system well these are just uh, just text files that you can edit as well and I'll show you one right now I'll show you uh, Kaiser here here's Kaiser system we'll go to it there it is right here and what you do is if you want to get rid of a planet like Kunar say or Jabin or CZF30 you just delete it from that and then delete it from the game and the system will load now if you delete the planet from the game but not in this it this whole system will not load so you gotta make sure that you're doing uh, this correctly. If you want to rearrange these things, so for instance, I moved these two uh, planets to different orbits around Corbo and Dolus, not even in Kaiser system anymore. Make sure that you have them ordered in after the way that each of these comes in in uh, orbits around the main planet, so around Kaiser. So these two are obviously the furthest away from it. Okay, a quick thing too, Centaur is a system, but it doesn't have Centaur.System, and it also has this thing right here where it says this planet is not configurable. Well, that's just not true. What you can do is orbit, is enter the orbit uh, parameters here, just like this, and like I said, the only things I really mess with are what its reference body is and what its semi-major axis is. So I mess around with the Centaurs, found one that I liked, and put it around uh, Dolus, okay? So there's that. This is, once again, the using the uh, Star Systems mod, which is in point two of development, the uh, Craig's Planet Factory mod, which is uh, discontinued, but you can still use it, and it's actually, uh, there will be a successor coming out really soon as well. I'll put the link to that in, it as, uh, in, in the description, but it's slipping my mind in right now. And then also using uh, a whole bunch of planet packs, and I'll put those planet packs uh, the links to them in the descriptions as well so you can pick and choose the ones that you like. Alright, I'm Andy. This is Kerbal Space Program on Kernel Critic. Thanks for watching and have fun fellow computer knots.